In this video, I interview my friend IT3 Calhoun, where she explains what it was like reporting to her first unit out of boot camp, a 270 as a non-rate, and what you can expect for your qualifications working on a 270. So stay tuned. So what was your experience like reporting to your cutter the first day? So when I reported to my cutter, um, I was actually first TAD on the Harriet Lane um, because my boat was underway and I had no contact with them. I just was given orders and they're like, you're going this day. Um, I reported in Gitmo or Cuba. Um, so you had to fly to Cuba in order to meet your boat and this yes. is the first time, first like, time. right after boot camp. How, how, how are you feeling like you know, get walking up to like this giant 270 um, just like not knowing what to expect I was I was nervous I was afraid because like I didn't know what to expect and you, you walk onto the boat and at first you'll think that a 270 is like is big and then you'll realize after you're there for about a week like it's really small and there's a bunch of people just crowded on it so are the people there like really welcoming the people that just come from boot camp or is it kind of like um are they kind of like intimidating you or trying to scare you or make you think that it's like anything that so generally people are very helpful when you report um you'll either be, if you're a non-rate you'll be either with uh deck or engineering um and you'll get your qual packets and you'll get guides and instructions and you'll 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 be told uh, what you need to do to qualify mm -hmm. and people are usually very open to helping mm -hmm. you to explain what you need to do for the qualifications so what was your your department i was in deck you're in deck and what type of quals did you need to to get so for the quals uh we had to do everyone has to qualify for security everyone has to uh, qualify for gpal and um and helmsman. So can you explain what those what those quals are like? So security is basically your, the, the eyes and ears of the boat. You do security rounds. You go around the entire boat and you do check the security of space. You make sure that spaces are either secured. Um, you check the oil lev levels, the bilge levels. Um, check for fire, flooding in all the spaces. Uh, you check temperature. Um, so you're, a bit, you're like an inspector almost. You're just making sure that everything is the way that it's supposed to be and make yep. sure that the boat's functioning. Yep. Was that a challenging qualification, you feel like, or was that pretty easy? Security was challenging uh, because <laughs> you, have to, you, have to learn, you have to learn all the, uh, the drawings, which is the fire main, uh, A triple left, uh, gray water, um, which is like... Like the shower? No, that's like the, that's like shower water and um, sink dirty, water. Yeah, yeah. Sink water, okay. And then and then you learn sewage, and sewage is the toilet. And you have to go around the entire boat, literally climbing, like th like opening up ceilings and just walking back and forth between the entire boat, looking for valves and in the ceiling and trying to draw these things out. So nobody hands you like a drawing of the boat with all the schematics and says like hey this is everything that you need to know it's like you have to figure it out yourself so or... most of the time people will do that they'll be like here's my drawing you can use it as a template it'll help you go about mm -hmm. but at this but then at the same time you still have to go go through the through the boat and look for yourself and you get lost mm -hmm. at least i did i got lost okay so security and then you said the other one was gpal gpal um, what's that a gangway petty officer of the watch and basically you sit on the quarter deck uh and you just, you, when you have people come up to the boat, they have to swipe and log, like swipe that they're there. Um, if you have visitors, the visitors come and they have to sign in. You're responsible for signing them in and out, making sure that mm -hmm. if they go on the boat, they're leaving the boat. Um, you also operate the phone. You'll get phone calls um, from people from mm -hmm. base and stuff, or um, you, you make all the pipes, so if there's a pipe that needs to be made, you make the pipes, mm -hmm. you sound, you do the alarms. Um, every day at noon, there's alarms. So it's almost kind of like being a secretary almost for the boat? Yes, but under a lot of pressure, no. Uh, under yeah, a lot of pressure because... I've always felt like I was under a lot of pressure because I was always like scared I was going to mess something up or say something wrong, especially uh -huh. when you make a pipe because the entire ship hears your pipe and mm -hmm. you mess something up. They're calling down to the quarter deck. What did you just say? So. Uh -huh. There's security, mm -hmm. the, the GPAO. And what was the last one you said? Um, oh, helmsman and lookout. So that's okay. where you actually physically drive the boat. Uh, you will be responsible for driving the boat. And 
and then lookout is you are on on the bridge and you are the eyes of the boat so you're monitoring any contacts that are in the water that you can see and then you're reporting it to the con so are you the only person that's that's basically like the eyes and ears of the boat or is that are there other people that are responsible for that because that, that sounds like a pretty big responsibility it to um, to make sure that the boat like doesn't hit anything or like if there's any any other boats in the water or maybe if you notice something you know people in mm -hmm. the water or um, like that that's a lot of response and then driving the boat too yep uh, and then when when you when you have cases and there's it's it's, it's got to be pretty stressful it gets really stressful because you'll have everybody on the bridge and then you'll have the con giving you commands helmsman left over order and you're just going back and forth uh, it can be stressful um but y you get used to it um so when you stand helm and lookout um there'll be there'll be one person on the helm and then one person standing lookout so one person's mm -hmm. outside monitoring contacts and one person's inside driving the boat now there is a, a thing called the gyro or iron mic and that's basically when the ship drives itself you input a course and it just automatically just goes straight okay. in that course so if if the con says okay helmsman um, switching to iron mic which is what we call it iron mic then you'll have two people on lookout and no one will be on helm okay so it's kind of like the autopilot for the boat yes almost? yes it's autopilot okay that's that's cool so those are the those are the only three quals that that you are allowed to get or mm -hmm. are you allowed to get other qualifications no so you can get more you can get chemo um which, which is, is quartermaster of the watch i'm not really familiar with that you basically do uh you uh are like doing the tracking the, the mapping of the boat okay uh i don't know how to like plotting plotting yes you're doing plotting and you're also it's sort of like uh the asi i would believe where you, it shows you your ship's location and you like do the plotting from the actual asi and like uh like dgps kind of I think, like chart plotter yeah it's like it's like on their console and they monitor and it shows you where the boat is mm -hmm. and the, where it's heading and all that okay yeah and you said that's chemo. Is there any other qualifications? Because you were you were on the boat for how long? Uh, about nine months. Nine months, not mm -hmm. too too long. Yeah, not too long. But there's got to be people that maybe are going like AMT or ME, some some oh, rates yeah. that are really long. What what do they do with the people that are there be, for for that long? Because the the quals like uh, you said um, that you said before, they they kind of seem kind of kind of simple, kind of basic. Mm -hmm. um, you know, definitely still challenging. Uh, when you're just joining the Coast Guard, but for people that have been there for a long time, like the BMs and stuff like that, um, what type of, what what can they expect being on So the you can also qualify, especially if you plan on going BM, um, you can qualify in, sorry, I'm blanking. Like BTM? BTM, yeah, it's a uh, boarding team. So uh, if you want to qualify as a BTM, um, you'll do BTM uh, training or... Mm -hmm. And then, are you also getting uh, like uh, boat crew? Yep, and boat crew as well. BTM and boat crew, and um, there's that's training on the boat and off the boat as so well. You'll train. Uh, they call it BTM college. You'll train with shooting at the range. Um, you'll train on the boat, boat lowerings, um, boat recovery. Mm -hmm. um, what about? Because I know bigger cutters. Uh, you also do some helo ops. Do you also? Yes. Do you also have to get qualified to like tie down helos and stuff like that? Definitely, for, especially for helo ops because it is a very dangerous evolution. Um, you have a helo landing directly on the flight deck of uh, uh, on the flight deck, um, and you have to secure the helo properly. Uh, you, there's there's so many people that have to be involved mm. with it. Um, is this a job for non rates? Yes, non rates. Non -rates, do? Non -rates do you uh, so to get qualified? You have to do. I don't know the exact number, but you have to do day evolutions and night night evolutions to qualify because you do helo landings at night and during the day. Um, so they want to make sure that you know what you're doing because one wrong move. Yeah, that's 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 risky business. So it's is that a qual that if you're there longer term, those are the that's one that people get, or is that something that you could have gotten as well? So you they usually have you do your standard quals, and then you can. You, you do your 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 jeep out your security and your helmet lookout and um, once you get those done then you can start moving on to other other things mm -hmm. is that is that a specific qual name for the helo ops um, 
It's a uh, helo tie down qualified, I believe. Helo tie down. I believe. I and then know. you could also, if you want to go BT, or, or if you're going BM, or if you're going to be there for a while, you can do BTM. Or boat crew. Boat crew. Mm -hmm. You could do the the helo tie down. Mm -hmm. Are there any others that you can? For for deck, that's uh, that's that's uh, that's what I know of. There, that's I know the there's a, yeah, there's more. I think believe there's more for engineering, but. You don't know. No, I don't okay. know. Maybe we'll, we'll try to find someone that was an engineer. an engineer and try to get them on the show. Yeah. So thank you so much for sharing this. Uh, if you like this video or you have any other questions about uh, what it's like being underway, leave it in the comment section down below. I'll also include uh, my, my friend uh, Angel's Instagram. You can send her a message. Uh, you can also leave a comment and I can also ask her. If you like this video guys, give it a big thumbs up and consider subscribing because this channel is all about sharing the best military tips and money saving hacks. Till next time guys, peace out. That was awesome.